All right, guys. Um, today um, we'll be looking at a two five one. All right, we'll be looking at a two five one in the key of C. All right, um, we're we'll looking at a jazz lesson. Okay, um, this is a very good way to get into jazz. Um, and then, yeah, the two five one jazz progression. All right. So I'm in the key of C. All right, the key of C, C, E, F, G, A, B, C. So one, two, three, four, five. C is my one. D is my two. Um, G is my five. So two, five, one is actually D, G. Back to your C. All right. So um, for jazz chords, we actually don't use our normal triads. All right. So we use our sevens. Uh, nines, uh, elevens, and the rest of them. So um, I will still make another video. Um, so you can check our videos on how chords are formed and chord nomenclature. All right. So see the chord I wanted to hold for your two. This. All right. The F, A, C, and your E. All right. So this is actually um, a rootless way of holding your two. All right. This are the triad, all right? So if I add this C, it becomes the C minor seventh, all right? So if I add this, it becomes the C minor ninth. Count it from where? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, all right? So D minor ninth. So I can remove my half from D, all right? Remember I told you we are holding the rootless um, chords for this two five one, all right. Rootless voicings, all right. So this is our two, and then the five, all right. Hold your F, your A, your B, and your D, okay. Your your F, your A, your B, and your D, all right. So um, what's this chord? All right, let's let's trace this chord. All right, so this is my G, all right? G. This is my G, dominant seven. And if I add this, this is my G nine. Count it, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, so when you add your A to it, it becomes your G uh, ninth, okay? So, all right, so if I take this A, this A is the same thing as this, all right? So this A is this. All right, I can hold it here, and then this F, I can hold it here. You see that? So you see, this is my my G ninth. All right. Then the last chord, that is the one, is this. All right. All right. So let's look at this chord critically. Okay. This is my C triad. All right. If I add this, this is my C major seventh. All right. If I add this, this is my C major ninth, okay? And then if I add this or this, this is my C um, 13, my C major 13. So count it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, all right? All right, so I can play this here, all right? This is still this, remaining this. So this is my ninth, I can hold it here, so you can see that. I decide to remove my half from my C, all right? So the bass player can actually play it. And then I can also decide to remove my half from my G. So, um, so I can hold it like this, or I can remove my half like that. I think this sounds better, all right? So, so two, five, All right, so on my right hand, I'm going to run a hip hop scale. All right, a hip hop scale. So, C, B, a B -pop, by the way, hip hop scale is just a traditional scale with an extra um, 
uh, with an extra note, all right? With an extra sharp note, okay? So for example, this is my major scales. All right? So if I add an extra note to it, uh, which is, I added the the F sharp, all right? So, so you see that? Did you see that? So I had an S. So. All right. So. All right. So um, I start here. So this is more like a triplet. So on my B, I'll go to my fifth. All right. So. Can play here. All right, you see this one. I started from my G. So go ahead and practice that. All right. So this, this is a good way of getting into the two five one. Just practice this. Take it easy. So we've started a new series, and um, I'm going to show you some things about jazz, and um, why um, this is very important even for gospel um, pianists like myself is because um, with this we're going to explain a lot of theories. Look at different types of chords. You get to understand why chords are, you know. Any of the chords you can hear in gospel music actually can trace its origin from the jazz. All right? 